And so that way they'll have it all cut up while you're gathering other things. You can also gather some cake. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Father Richard. Happy birthday to you. coming up here. Very good. Very good. So my brothers and sisters, just with great joy, it is with great joy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. So it's with great joy that I introduce our Vicar General from the Diocese of Boston. You stop trying to live, and you just live. And this is true for the married life, it's true for the single life, and it's true for the religious life. And so the heroic character that Father Richard has presented to me, and I've used it in my own priesthood, is the, the notion of um, just living my vocation. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, Father Richard, is always an outstanding priest. No matter what time of the day, no matter what time of the year, he has obviously found his true vocation in life and he doesn't even try to live anymore, he just lives. And it's so obvious in his joy and it's so obvious in his character. First thing I have to say, it's a real pleasure and joy to be here with you and thank you for the beautiful spread that you're putting on. And I'm not going to recount the developments and the progress of this parish over the last 27 years, because many of you have lived that progress and development with Father. I'm just glad that I had some input initially when he was appointed here as your pastor. And as they say, the rest is history. I want to thank Father Richard for inviting me to come and do summer supply while he was on vacation. It has certainly been a blessing to get to know you and to be of some service to you. I thank you very much for your warm welcome, your generosity and your friendship and prayers. I have happy memories of my time here and I remember you all each day in my prayers. From visiting here, I have no doubt that Father had been a great fit for you people. He has given sterling service and you have responded splendidly. The whole purpose, the raison d'etre of parish is to grow in the love of God together. You and Father have done that. That is the essential and it has been happening here over the last 27 years. Such a great break to go home. I'm trying to get a priest to take my place while Gerard would make himself available for from Ireland. That's why he loved you so much and how you loved him so much by the girl was so much part of our marriage. But it's been a lovely 27 years here. That will be older in ways. As you can see from some of the pictures there, some of the photographs there, we went on many pilgrimages, many pilgrimages to foreign lands, and we enjoyed them. Also, we went on, of course, cruises as well. We didn't tell the diocese we were going. 
Father James Mitchell, I knew as a young priest when I had your hair on my head and he had got many hair on his head too. And so it was my privilege to have met Father Misko. And really, Father Misko, I think there's no better vicar general in our diocese than you. I want to congratulate you on that. Like the waves of the ocean crashing on the cliffs of more. Oh, the western winds are blowing all along the Galway shore. From the high walls of Derry to the rolling hills of Kerry, all across this Irish homeland, there's a welcome at the door. May the road rise to meet you, a smile always greet you. May our friendship be always true and strong And as the sun sets in the west I wish you all the best Please God we'll meet again before too long With the troubles of our world We leave them at the door Raise a glass to friends who passed, remembering them once more. And may the love of the Irish be with you every day. Who knows what tomorrow brings? Let's live for today. May the Lord rise to meet you. The smile always greets you. May our friendship be always true and strong. Please God, we